Hey, I wanna show you something. This is what my video used to look like. Yep, this is before any color adjustments and it's kind of boring. That's better. Okay, let's go through Mulvavi's color adjustments together. And I'll even show you how I use this to keep my videos looking not so boring. Let's go. To begin, I'll select the clip that I want to adjust. Then up here in the tool column, by clicking more tools, I can open the video editing dropdown and get right to the color adjustments. Another way to get here even faster is by selecting your clip and clicking the color adjustment icon right here. Now in the color adjustment tool, there are two choices, easy and advanced. If I'm in a hurry, I might jump into the easy tab and try out a few of Mulvavi's preset coloring options. Or if I have saved my own custom color adjustments, this is where I can come to find them. More on that in just a minute. Starting at the top, we have a few auto adjustment presets that can fix things like contrast, saturation, and white balance. The rest of the gallery will be filled with Movavi's standard color presets, or the presets that I've created myself and saved. To apply any one of these, I will simply drag it down into the timeline and drop it onto my clip. Now if you have multiple clips that you'd like to apply the same preset to, you can save yourself time by highlighting those clips first and then dropping your desired preset on any one of those highlighted clips. Once a color adjustment has been applied, you'll notice the clip will be marked with a star icon. By clicking on the star icon, you will be brought to the Clip Properties tab, where you can quickly view any effect currently applied. If you want to remove any adjustment, simply click the little X on the right. Now, let's go over how we can create and save our own custom color presets. Since footage and images can vary so greatly, there's really not one custom preset that can work perfectly for everything. So depending on your project, you may like to create a preset specifically for your evening drone footage, gaming content, indoor and outdoor tours, art creation, and the like. Personally, I create presets for when I'm filming indoor by my computer, for screen recording content, and so forth, saving me a great deal of time when editing. To begin creating a custom preset, I'll click on the Advanced tab. After clicking Advanced, I'm brought to a list of color adjustments. First on the list is the white balance tool. White balance is the process of removing unrealistic color cast so that objects which appear white in person are rendered white in your video. To use this, just click on the dropper tool and then select an area within your image that is closest to white. Now this will attempt to adjust the colors in the video so that they look more natural. Next on the list is brightness. If I move this slider to the right, my footage will become brighter and to the left, darker. For this clip, I will be brightening it up just a bit. Moving down the list, we have contrast. By sliding this to the right, it's basically going to make the darker colors stand out from the lighter colors, which is helpful since my clip is looking a bit dull. Onto my favorite, saturation. This is the adjustment that will give my footage the color and vibrancy that it's missing. I typically slide this to the right quite a bit because I really like my footage to be colorful. Next is highlights. Any changes made here will primarily affect the brightest areas in my video. So I will slide this to the right, brightening up my video even more. Now moving on down the list, we have Gamma. I personally don't use this often, but it's basically another tool that helps brighten and darken your footage. Then we have Shadows, and this refers to the darkest spots in my video. So as you can see, by sliding this to the right like this, I was able to brighten up the shadows easily. Last, we have Hue, Temperature, and Tint. These all affect the overall color. The only time I use these is if my footage feels a little bit yellow. In that case, I will choose one of these three and slide it a bit in the blue direction. It's best to just play around with all these to find out what looks best for your project. Also keep in mind that proper lighting while filming will make this process much easier. When I'm finished customizing, I can save these adjustments by clicking on the floppy disk icon and giving it a name. After saving, my new customized preset will appear back in the Easy tab for future use. And that's it, thanks for watching.